What's going on, Skid? I've got a GE top loader washing machine that will not go into spin cycle at the end of the cycle. And I'll show you how to fix it real quick. First thing you want to check is your timer. Just make sure it's advancing. You know, make sure it's moving all the way to the end because if it's just stuck right there, then it's not getting to the, the spin cycle. So if your timer is advancing, that means it's good. If it's not advancing, you obviously have a bad timer and just replace the timer. And I'm able to work on it with the door open because I got my magnetic stud finder on it. I'll leave a link to one of these. These are awesome. They find studs and you can work on a washing machine while the door is open. All right, these GE washing machines are real maintenance friendly. They just have a tab right there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. See that tab? Just put the screwdriver in there and pop it up. And then it come out. Just like that. This one on both sides. There you go. There's the little tabs on each side. Alright, see this hose right here? Just pull it off that little nipple there. These things get clogged. Make sure you don't have any debris in it. And if it's really clogged, your washing machine won't know when to stop filling up and it'll overflow out of the top and all over the floor and cause a flood. And make sure this is make sure this is uh, not clogged either. So what you want to do is take your hose and just blow in it. Hear that popping? Every time I blow into the hose, that's the pressure switch. That's what tells the washing machine to stop filling and when to drain and all that stuff. So that's your problem. All right, after you've blown into the tube a couple times, put it back on. And turn the washing machine back on and give the, the spin cycle a try. it worked as you can see it's spinning now kicking in the high gear yeah dude so that's it just pull the hose off over here off the tub and make sure there's no debris in it. It gets a bunch of gobbledygook in there. Just clean it out. That's why I keep a a safety pin on my, my strap here. I'll just unclip it off and I clean out this, this little hole here. It gets full of gunk and clean out the tube. And if it happens again, you're going to have to replace the, the pressure switch. And I'll show you how to do that. It's real easy. Yeah, that's the bad news, guys. This usually means that your pressure switch is on its last leg and will need to be replaced. But blowing into the tube will get you out of a pinch and get your clothes spun out for you. All right, these knobs just pull off. I unplug the washing machine, cut the power, and all you gotta do is take these three screws out. One, two, and there's one at the end, that's it. All right, I got the three screws out of the back, and this panel should just slide over and then you pop it up. And there's your pressure switch right there. There's the hose you were blowing in that you pulled off the tub. And it's pretty much just plug and play. Pull that off, unplug it, put the new one in, and you're ready to rock. You know, blowing in the hose, it'll get you out of a pinch, but it usually means this is going bad. If it's not clogged, now if it was clogged, that was the problem. But if it's not clogged, usually means your pressure switch is on its last leg and you'll need to replace it but it'll get you through for the time being all right i'll show you how to take it out unplug it pull the hose off and just twist it out there it is i'll leave a link to one of these in the description below on, the, on this video 
I believe they go for about 30 bucks. Cheaper than having a repair man come do it. He's going to charge you 250. You can do it yourself for 30 bucks. If you need a washing machine timer, I'll leave a link to one of these in the description below as well. As you can see, it just plugs in. Just unscrew that screw, take it out, unplug it, plug the new one in. It's pretty much plug and play, real simple. Alright, when you get your new one, you want to make sure this big piece right here is up. And you turn it on its side and just twist it in and it snaps in plug it back in and you're ready to rock put your hose back on alright button it up screw it down put your handle back on and you're ready to go man like I said I'll leave a link to a new pressure switch in the description below on this video they go for about 30 bucks save you a lot of cash I hope this helps thank you for watching the dirty maintenance show